Vroom vroom. Hello! So it's been a long time since I've uploaded on this channel, but I've not been idle. I've actually been filming lots of different things throughout my life for basically this summer so far. I've got, in this video particularly, bits of friends coming over, me making dinner for them. I've got some DIY, I'm building some cabinets and fixing my uh, wardrobe in my bedroom. And also I even travel a little bit to uh, the north, the Midlands. You know, same thing. So yeah, this is a more, more of like a traditional vlog slash video blog diary type thing of a month of my summer. Let's go. Also, I hope they enjoy what I got for dessert. Look at him, he's a little corgi. To celebrate the Platinum Jubilee. He, he is, uh, he's so cute. Look at him. It's Clarence the Corgi. That's basically just Wiggles, everybody. It's, it's Wiggles. Ta-da, look, we did it. Ta, you made it in. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is the tall person only mirror. Uh, actually, <laughs> I'm wearing heels and I still cannot see myself. Oh, yeah, I, I put it up thinking it wants to be at eye level and then I realized that... By the way, I'm actually here. You just can't see me. <laughs> oh my god, the lights please. Here. You have a problem. Oh, I know. <laughs> what is that? Just bought Lululemon things. It was underwear. Oh my god. I just like underwear. I'm so no, sorry. She's <laughs> looking through my garbage. Thank you very much. It might be too hot, but tell me what your thoughts are. Burn your lips for me. It smells amazing. I'm <laughs> not gonna burn myself. It's I'm... very nice. Cool. It's not too hot at all. It's very mild. Someday. Just like me. I wouldn't right. say that, but <laughs> fine. Cheers. Cheers. Prost. 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 Prost, as they yeah. say. Just... Do you say Prost in the Netherlands? Yeah, we do. Oh. Is that German too? I thought it was a German thing. It's until, German. until right now. So. Dutch reviews of a I, tall in the caterpillar. I've never had it before and it's really nice. It's way lighter than I expected. It's, <laughs> it's nice. Thank you. Reviews. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Are we just oh, pretending you didn't just come pick us up from downstairs? Yeah, no. Okay. Wow. What a nice house. Well, you know what's the best part? Right over there, that knife rack. I don't know who oh. those... Mwah. Brought you a gift? You brought me a gift. Is it spaghetti? It's a saw. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I will use this to make the walls. And so then I'm... Hello. <laughs> How's the, uh, Ayo Ili? Ayo Ili. Hello, I'm gonna be honest, lads. Uh, you know, like, when you have a time when you're like, I'm gonna do this, and you try and will something into existence. That was me doing this today. I, uh, I, I, I picked up the screwdriver set that I have and carried it away somewhere, went to film here, and then spent 20 minutes through every room in my house, back and forth, back and forth. I even checked the balcony. Uh, to try and find it. I'm just saying this in case anyone else has this sort of relatable thing in which your brain has no object permanence and you cannot see anything ever. Uh, you put something down and it is gone and you can't see it when you look for it. Well, you might actually see it if it was in the edit. It might actually be because I've now just found it. I am exhausted mentally, physically. Good day at the gym. Oh, so I think I'm gonna do this tomorrow just because it'll give this a slight happy ending. I found it. Does anyone else please tell me there's someone else that loses things every day and has to spend 20 minutes looking for them because it really makes me feel horribly depressed about my brain. It, I, I put it down right there, I guess. There it is. <sighs> Tomorrow's a better day. Well, what a hodgepodge of a video this one is. So, I'm in my bathroom. The only things I've got left to do in terms of my house are bathroom painting, as you can see. I've just gotta finish the job. Other bathroom painting and studio. That sounds like a lot. Oh, I guess an hallway. Ah, but the major ones for me were always the kitchen and the, and the uh, bedroom. Everything feels major. My, my pro tip, don't decide to paint every room of your house after you've moved in, kind of. It, a little overwhelming. Maybe do little baby steps so that mentally it always doesn't feel like you're never complete. However, uh, my one issue that I have with my bathroom is that there's not much storage. I've got one of these pieces here from a place called A Place to Remember. I bought two things from them for my bathrooms and then bought loads of other storage stuff because I really like them. And they ended up reaching out to me and going, hey, we saw you bought some stuff. Y you want some more? Absolutely, thank you. So thank you to those guys. They've sent me over another lovely piece that I'm gonna be building for my bathroom so I actually have a place to store things and it doesn't feel so 
empty. I wish I could have plants in here, but there's just no natural light, so they would die. Alrighty. Fun fact, I actually tried to do this two weeks ago. I've had these things for like a month, and I'm the type of person where when it comes to building stuff, the idea of setting aside that time to do it gets me overwhelmed. And I've actually built these before. I already have one of them behind me here, and I have another one in the other room, and it wasn't like that time consuming. But I think it's that part of my brain that like sees that and goes, ah, oh, that, that'll be a whole day. <laughs> so I just don't. And so today I finally, as I wave a knife at you, I finally decided enough is enough. It's time to build. They always say don't use a knife on the packaging. And I'm like, how else do you want me to open it? Fire? You, know, you just gotta be delicate with your knife. Gently push it in there. I've opened this upside down. Sweet. We got the instructions. Nicely packaged. And first step for me is always just getting each of these things set aside separate so I know where they are. It's crazy to think how much better I am at doing this type of thing than I was six months ago when I first moved in. That's a nice thing to think about. When I moved in, I literally had no idea about anything. And now I feel like I'm able to just fix things. Like I fixed some parts on my dishwasher and my fridge the other day. I noticed that they were a little janky. And then I was like, oh, I know what to do. Screw, screw, screw. So it. And I guess that just goes to show, do something multiple times and you get better at it, you know? You learn through experience. I'm just such a learning from watching YouTube videos type guy though. Most of the stuff that I learn is just like, for instance, my painting video, I really wanted to make sure people know that I have no experience, but I've watched a lot. So that's, it's like, oh, I know the theory. But boy, do you learn a lot when you do. As a tiny note, I do always appreciate when you buy stuff like this and they have everything with the individual labels on them, so it's just easier to find in a pinch. Really coming together now. And you can get lots of different gear to make DIY stuff easier. And still, out of everything that I've gotten to help me on this DIY journey, this simple thing, definitely the best part. Kim got me one. Uh, as a housewoman gift and it's just made things so much simpler and faster. Sure, having a power drill is great, but a lot of things like this, you don't want to use that in case it strips a screw or something. And also it couldn't fit in between these little slats. There's just something oddly satisfying about it, <laughs> especially with one like this that comes with so many different little bits. All right, and let's see. Oh. Perfect. Fits right in that little cubby there. Boom. So much more storage. Heck yeah. It matches perfectly with this boy. Ta-da. I love him. Hello there, everybody. Well, uh, today is supposed to be a very exciting day because I'm going to get to go to Leicester. Not Leicester Square. The real one. Up in the Midlands. There's a NASA space center there. Uh, Disney is sending me out as part of Lightyear. And I specifically requested to see if I could go on this trip. Because someone that I've never met before is going to be on it. We'll, we'll see who he is. Let's go. I invited Luke. I'm not feeling the greatest. I'm going to try my best. Are you excited about your trip? What's that? Are you going to be a space ranger? I'm going to be a space ranger. Going to the Midlands. You know what? Want to know what pants I'm wearing? <laughs> I'm wearing the pants you got me for Christmas. Oh, wow. Those are going to be the great lemon. for sweat wicking. <laughs> oh, hello. Nope. Goodbye. I've never met you before. What's your name, sir? I'm Evan. What's your name? Jim. I don't believe it. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna be space rangers today. That's Yo, you to infinity. And, and and boom. Yeah. That's so close. <laughs> overexposed. One of my favorite parts from the entire road trip was me saying, "Ah, oh, really sorry. This is overexposed." You going? That makes me sick. I can't believe you've done this. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> wow. The actual rocket. It's called Thor. It's called Thor. Ragnarok. Ragnarok is. I. Oh. Cool. The the natural progression. How cute he is! Look at him. Oh, you. That's so nice. It's the tire. It's been into space. That one's genuinely been in space. It smells like a tire. Yeah. It's been in space. And I'm allowed to touch it. Luke, they have a whole section over here about you. 
Oh yeah, go on. Welcome to the go on. Right there. <laughs> it's virgin territory. You're married, so I don't know. You stick your head in and press the button, press the button down here. See if you get space sick. I push the button. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Is it spinning? No. I feel like it's spinning. Well, the inside is spinning. That's quite cool. Yeah? Uh, it, it, it felt like, yeah, it felt like I was on something. Yeah? <laughs> like a spaceship? Yeah. <laughs> I was taking a trip in space. Smile in between these posts, okay? And come back down. When you get to here, I'll be there. I'm going to try and catch a ball. Okay. All wearing those. You can do it, Luke. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. What the Are these drunk goggles? Oh, Luke, come on, there's children on the road. Faster. Do I take the goggles off? To catch no. It? <laughs> what? Whoa, what the heck? Oh, yeah, I know how it works now. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are repotting some plants. This poor monstera here, he was so root bound, had so many roots, like a good six inches. Can you lift that bit out or have you already filled the sides? No, we don't fill the sides yet. Okay, hold on, let me get an angle. Yeah. So this is one of my favorites, this monstera deliciosa. He's starting to get double variegations here. Um, and we've just put a cocoa coir stick in there. Look at that. Look how many roots he had. We had to cut him out, but he's looking real healthy. All right, put him back in. This nice bigger pot he's going to be so much happier in. And now that he's got a pole, he's going to really start to climb. And then next up, we're doing that one over there. We have a fallen plant outside because I live in the windiest part of the entire country. And sadly, well, maybe not the country, but definitely London. So all my plants blow over no matter how much I weight them. It's a shame. Now, you might consider me a really organized person. You might see like how I'm trying to keep this place and go, wow, organized Chad. Chadization. Don't know what that means. Not really. I mean, I, I try to make it look as nice as possible and I try for my own mental health because I feel like when my room starts to slip, that's when I know I'm going a little bit slippy. So I have to spend some time cleaning it up. And I've always been someone who like kind of slowly lets things build up and then takes it all out in one go. Uh, in this place, I've been trying to be a bit more proactive. I don't have as much storage space. However, the one bit of storage space I do have is where I hide all my problems. Look at this. Look at this. It's very bad, okay? I understand. You're looking at this and you're weeping. It looks horrible. Okay, yes. This is the problem when you've got a storage solution for your clothes that is one, one little, like, shelf and then one pole for some hangables. However, uh, the company that sent me the old bathroom things I've just built also have sent me a wardrobe solution I'm going to attempt to build today, so I might finally fix this situation. Hardest part about this whole thing is dismantling the whole shelf up here, oh boy. I've been needing to do this for ages. Just gotta do it. You just throw it out of shot. That's it, he did it. He's a clean master. He, he's the best. Boom, wow, how does he do it? It go disappears off screen. That better still be out of frame, actually. It's a wide angle camera, but I zoomed. Haven't seen the floor of this in so long. Uh, there we go. Oh, yes, a spare pillow. Whatever would I do without him? Moth trap empty. A good sign. Oh, what's that? Dark. I need to clean. Wow. How heavy is this? Pretty heavy. I've got to now remove that skirting board. I really hope this works out. All right, so I've taken some of the parts of my system out from a place for everything. And I've got here, uh, this is the most important part. So this here uh, was measured out specifically so that it fits within the confines of my closet. It's the top rail. So luckily they sent me a lot of different videos I can watch on how to do this because I'm a video learner. I watch things, I learn things. So we've, we've got this as a top rail and then these three should hang from that top rail supporting the rest of the shelving system I've chosen to build out. So I just have to remove this little skirting board that's in the middle of the wall that helps support the previous shelf. Let's go. When I started this project, I didn't think I'd have to be doing too much extra DIY. I was just hoping to take the old one out, put the new one in. But look at this wall, just completely covered in marks and lost paint and drywall. Gonna have to get out the old spackle. All right, so as you can see, it is all looking spick and span in there. Essentially, while, while I've been gone, 
I sanded everything down, spackled it, sanded it again, and then pretty much just grabbed a, a ceiling paint that I have because I have a little bit left and just kind of covered it up. It's inside my closet and it is a white and it's going to be super flat so you won't be able to tell. But for the most part, now it looks good enough to actually put the stuff in. Also, I painted my bathroom ceiling while I was waiting. Moving on up. So close to being done all the painting. Only one more ceiling left in my entire house. And that's my studio. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. I've measured this a thousand times. It's mostly painted. I've just scuffed it up really bad. A 10 millimeter drill bit. Here we go. He's a DIY man with a DIY plan. There we go. All good. What's nice about the system is how modular it is. So like if down the line I want to change it up a bit, I very much can. I can put this in right here. Ta-da. Or maybe I want to hide it, heighten it or lower it. I wanted to go for an Ikea system originally, but they, the way that Ikea basically is, is it's only like two sizes and this small cupboard of a wardrobe doesn't work with it. Uh, so that's why I'm really thankful I was able to find this little alpha thing because it's just a lot more uh, customizable for smaller spaces. I should be able to just snap this on all the way up here for the world's tallest shelf. Thank God I'm tall. I'm able to just hide some stuff up here. Oh, all right. Nice. Nice. It's in. Ta-da. This is my chance to like think about the way I'm putting in things. No. <laughs> and these two bathrooms today, I'm hoping to board and batten because I'm crazy madman. And this is the most difficult part because somehow we have to paint behind this radiator and then put boards there and <laughs> Why? Why am I like this? It's a bathroom, Evan. But I have a vision, and this is what we will be trying to do. You know what? That looks pretty good. Yeah. It's gonna get bumpy, but I think we can do our best. Also, I have to be really gentle because um, I got a hernia. <laughs> I wanted to be a great vlogger and show you the progress and instead I just went at it and we've done all of the lower bits in white. Much easier than I expected. Wow, it's so, it's almost gray, but it's a its a very subtle blue. It's like a, a deep, deep navy. Not like the kitchen, but a bit grayer. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Update, Bliss and I have now painted two coats on the top in that nice blue and one coat in the simply white here. It's like a mysterious color you could say. And now we're, oh, wow, that's a perfect fit. We're gonna be adding a little bit of extra framing labeling here for the board and batten. I've got my no more nails instead of nails. And all I have to do is shove it in my gun here. I'm much more confident with this than the last time we did it. All right. oh, so the ones that are gonna be difficult are gonna be these, the ones that go behind the radiator because I'm mental. Uh, however, we've pre-painted those, so we should be able to just Slide them up, and Bob is your uncle. Fanny, she's your aunt. Put tape on the end. Oh, uh, <laughs> did I pick that up by accident? <laughs> As you can see, paint to the top a nice, really dark uh, navy blue. We've done the board and batten with the white on both sides here. Very happy with how it turns out. Uh, housewarming party just had yesterday, really huge success. Oh, was so incredibly happy with uh, the way it turned out. And now to finish things off, I'm just going to be basically covering these boring gray tiles with something a bit more interesting. Uh, should be quite easy. So it's taken quite a bit of time, but uh, look at this one. This one took a, a long time to cut. Let's just say we're hoping that it goes right into that little pocket. It, it requires quite a little bit and that's pretty good. So I know I skipped quite a few steps for this, but the bathroom is now done. This is my guest bathroom. I've put up this lovely framed print of mine, which was the only one that sold out for my first ever run of photographic prints. I also have this one, which is another one that I took in Chiswick. That was one of my series one of prints that I sold. Also, look, I don't know if you can tell this incredibly lovely board and batten. It, it came out so incredibly nice. The blue, so nice and deep. 
almost like a black how deep blue this is coming on down and then also we've got the layout here lastly this is now finished and looks stunning. Really brings the space together. Absolutely love it. And this, of course, is my bathroom. Hello, my ensuite. I've not yet done any tiles here. However, I'm considering it. I have a, quite a few left over. I could get them. I'm curious, should I? Leave me a comment. Do you think I should get those nice contrasty tiles for this room as well? I'm curious. This is just the standard tile right here. So, you know, not as reflective at all. But, yet again, look how amazing that board and batten looks. Oh man, I actually have three frames that I'm gonna be putting right here, so that way I have my art, my, my photo photography in this room as well. And finally, before we end out this whew, lovely video full of friendship and DIY, ta-da. Look at that. I'm so pleased with how this looks. It looks like such an amazing wardrobe. I've got so much more storage now in here. It is wild. So incredibly happy. I've got drawers for my socks and underwear, my shirts. I even have like a drawer just for the stuff that I wear the most often. And then like pants and such, my comfy clothes, my nice hoodies, my jumpers, everything I could ever want. Even a, a moving shoe rack, which is crazy. So, ah. So, 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 so thankful. I am uploading bits of these vlogs out of order because for the past two months, I've been vlogging everything I've been doing DIY wise and trying to make it work without having a narrative. So like, for instance, this bathroom was actually done just after I did the living room. And so, bit out of order, but my next vlog, if you want to subscribe, stay tuned for that, is making my living room accent wall. I really hope you like it because that one is stunning. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. And if there are any things I've talked about in this video that you've been interested in, there will be links in the description for them. So yes, thanks for watching. I will see you guys on my next DIY adventure. Goodbye.